The internet is about to change forever. In fact, we are on the verge of the biggest innovation in decades, and it's called Web 3.0. In this video, I'm going to explain exactly what it is and how it can give you the power to scale your business and make money faster than you ever thought possible from anywhere in the world, whether you're in Africa, the Middle East, the United States, the UK, Asia or Latin America, you need to know the information in this video. Pay attention. Do you sometimes feel like the internet is spying on you? Do you find that suddenly you're seeing ads and videos based on things you clicked on days or even weeks ago? This is not your imagination. In order to understand what Web 3.0 is, we have to go back to the beginning. Web 1.0 came out in 1989 and was just a series of basic web pages. A user could only read information, but couldn't send information back. Essentially, you were browsing websites. I remember this error clearly. I was in boarding school and only a handful of students even knew how to use the internet. In essence, it was truly decentralized and represented real freedom on the internet. That changed fast. Web 2.0 came out in the year 2000 and continues to this day. Web 2.0 was read and write and allowed users to interact with the sites they browsed. With features such as JavaScript and HTML, companies could create more complex sites. And this brought us Facebook, Google, YouTube, Amazon. Everything we use now online is based or derived from the Web 2.0 framework. But I'm old enough to remember a time before Google where to find information you had to go to a library or read a book. Now no one can imagine a world without Google. However, there was something they were taking from you that was much more valuable than what they were giving you. All the information you input to any of these platforms is saved by these companies who then use them for targeted ads or sell that information to other companies who in turn create profiles of you so they can sell you more things. That information can be used to manipulate, control, and push you to make decisions based on very carefully orchestrated marketing campaigns using the data you inadvertently provide. You remember Facebook got into trouble over this and Zuckerberg in an attempt to clean up its image even had to change the branding to Meta? The reality is Facebook owns Instagram and WhatsApp. So if you think quitting Facebook takes you out of the ecosystem, but you still have either of those other apps, it's the same as driving a Lexus. You're driving a Toyota with a different logo on it. This marketing and use of your information is called the data economy and they get your resource for free. But I'm thinking, why shouldn't I be paid for my data? Now, since the Facebook fiasco, laws were changed, so you now get that cookie permission screen. But if you accept to have cookies stored, they benefit, you don't. In 2014, a guy called Gavin Wood, who is a co-founder of Ethereum, wrote a blog post about what Web3 could be, saying that you could exchange money and information on the web with no middleman and be able to charge for the information if you want. And this would all be controlled by a blockchain. A user would then be able to seamlessly move from social media to email to shopping and create a public record on the blockchain independent of any of these private corporations. At the time when he wrote this, this was a radical concept that most people rejected. If Web3 is not controlled by any of these corporations, what would motivate you to use it? This is where it gets really interesting. Theoretically, people would be given virtual tokens to incentivize them to perform actions on Web3, a kind of cryptocurrency. This concept is called decentralized finance. You can basically charge for literally anything you want. You could charge for simply looking at someone's ad or reading their article or watching their video. The full fee would go to you. This could make you a millionaire from the comforts of your own home anywhere in the world. This concept is going to be fundamental to virtual realities like the metaverse, but there are many people that don't believe any of this is going to work due to the computing power necessary to make it work. 
This technology is going to change everything for how we use the internet and how we interact with each other. However, what's most compelling for me about Web 3.0 is how it might give emerging economies in Africa or individuals like yourself, wherever you may be, the ability to take back control of your data. You know what, I really hope black and African people get on this train and do not get left behind as we always have been when new innovations and technologies get released. That is why I'm bringing you this information in the hopes you will prepare yourselves to harness this power if it comes to fruition. Everyone doubts major shifts in technology. That's the way it's always been. Remember when they all said crypto was a waste of time? What are they doing now? building the CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency, which is a government-owned cryptocurrency they will eventually force you to use. My special edition video on CBDCs is on my YouTube page with more detailed information everyone must know. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my first official supporters, Mr. Bobby Draper, Luce Sankofa, Marsalis, Here and There, and Yvette. If you would like to be an official supporter and join the independence community we're building, click the link in the description where you can also sign up for my free newsletter and grab a copy of the first episode of my graphic novel, The Crusaders, Hunt for the Sunblade. A story about Nigerian siblings reclaiming African history one adventure at a time.